This way? Or this way? The world needs you. Who my killer is? Hi there, YouTube. It's Cybernex Shark here with an all-new video for you. So in this video, we're gonna go about the top ten heroines of all time. So let's get right into this video and see who those top tens are. <laughs> Welcome YouTubers and all subsequent social media lands. Welcome to an all new video. So last thing I was saying before, we're going to be doing the top 10 heroines of all time. Yeah, people. It's going to be fun, exciting, and lots of action. But before we do that, I just want to thank everyone for coming to watch this video. And also, if this is your first time here or you have been here before and haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss this awesome content. So you can also get to know when new content comes out for me every week, people. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. So let's get right into this video, people, and see what it's all about. So coming in at number 10, people, number 10 for my awesome heroin video is none other than the alien kicker herself, Miss Ellen Ripley. Oh, yeah. So Ellen Ripley, we all know, is played by the great Sigourney Weaver and has done the same character uh, four different times and outings now in films. We have her in Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. And Ellen Ripley is just a really cool, badass character. She kicks some butt. Her most famous line is, of course, in Aliens, I feel, when, you know, says, stay away from her, bitch. And is probably one of her most iconic roles, too, for Sigourney Weaver to the day. And everyone, you know, recognizes her as, you know, Ellen Ripley. And she just kicks butt. And she really showed that by, you know, lasting three movies, supposedly dying, and then all of a sudden coming back to life in Alien Resurrection. So, I mean, this is just a cool heroine she rocks a lot of great action sequences then she kicks some butt just a really awesome lady so that's why she's coming in at number 10 on my top 10 best of all time so coming in at number nine on my list of top 10 best heroes of all time is a interesting character played so well by the amazing angelina jolie and this character i feel you don't hear too much about her because i think she is downright one of the awesomest you know chick heroines in a awesome film ever. Fortunately, she's only got one outing with this character, but still is just a really fantastic, and I think deserves to be in the top ten. And then, of course, is the character Evelyn Salt, or simply known as Salt. Yeah. So Evelyn Salt is just a really cool kind of like, kind of CIA, kind of, you know, James Bondish type of character, you know, that kind of you know, has many different faces and just is a really cool character. And Angelina Jolie did a great job of bringing that character to life. And from my understanding, I believe she is based off of a comic book, if I've heard this correctly. And just the way that she developed the character, you just really fall in love with the character. But at the same time, she did a good job of making you like, do I trust her or don't I trust her? And so I, that's why I just think Evelyn Salt's a great character because she has great depth great interesting plot line and just as an interesting character all together and so that's why she comes at a number nine on my list so coming at number eight on my list of heroines top 10 is none other than a great actress uh that has had now uh three different outings with this character has a fourth one coming out and it's just a really cool character uh she really has finally popped from the comic books. She's had other iterations of this character, you know, throughout the years. You know, back in the 70s, Linda Carter made this character very popular, and now Gal Gadot has. And that, of course, is none other than Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. So Wonder Woman, you know, is just an awesome character. She's, you know, from this land where it's nothing but women. She's like a, basically like a goddess. And... Uh, has these cool powers, has the, the amulet she wears on her wrist, th these bracelets that, you know, can stop bullets, and she has all these powers and stuff because she's part god, and she's just a really cool character, and I think that she also has a lot of great uh, backstory 
that was really brought to life with the Wonder Woman film that came out in 2017. So this character is just really amazing and fun. Really well done by Gal Gadot uh, you know, and Linda Carter back in the day. And is just a really interesting character because you get that God perspective in it that gives her that, you know, a little bit of that special powers and, you know, superhuman strength and superpowers and stuff like that. Like, you know, Superman, like uh, Aquaman and so forth and stuff like that. It's just a really cool character. And I think what also makes her, uh, you know, one of the top ten, uh, you know, heroines of all time is just her, she always has a great truth and justice to herself. And she really brings out that American ideal, kind of like Captain America does for men. It's Wonder Woman for women, I feel. And that's what makes her, I think, one of the top ten best uh, and coming in at number eight. So coming to number seven on our list of ten best heroines of all time is an awesome Marvel character that just recently finally got her big screen debut back in 2015 and got a brief, you know, brisket of her uh, snippet uh, in the end of a previous film uh, that was in 2012. But she really got her big out in 2015 and then 2016 and then we really got to see even more of her in 2018 and 2019. And she's just a really awesome character and I really enjoy her and I think that she does a really fantastic job uh, as this character, Miss uh, Elizabeth Olsen. And that, of course, is the character Scarlet Witch. Oh yeah, Scarlet Witch. Woo! So Scarlet Witch is just an awesome character to begin with, and it was fun to see her finally come to the big screen, and Elizabeth Olsen is doing a dynamite job of portraying the character. And I think what makes her such a great heroine is the fact that she has all this cosmic power, basically, and yet she still doesn't know how to fully use it. And I think that's what's great about this character is that that development and that growth and that kind of like all of a sudden like that, you know, build up to when she's all of a sudden going to explode with power is going to be so awesome and amazing. And then just the fact that her persona, uh, you know, and ideals and thoughts is mainly about revenge pretty much in this, you know, in this MCU timeline also makes her kind of fun because she kind of like a badass rogue kind of superhero kind of anti-hero type of character and that makes her fun too so i just think that scarlet witch is just an all-around amazing character with all of her abilities uh, and things she can do and it's gonna be fun to see what that character does in the future and that's why she ends up at my seventh spot on my list of 10 greatest characters so coming to number six on my list of 10 best heroines is none other than an awesome character in a horror film series that I feel is a really great series. They've only done two films so far, but this character is so beautifully brought to life by Jessica Roth and is just a really awesome character. And I love the depth that they've gone to with this character. And that, of course, is Tree Glebman from the Happy Death Day films. Yeah, Tree Glebman. Tree Gledman. So Tree Gledman, played so beautifully by Jessica Roth, is just an awesome character. The development of basically just from the get-go, you know, her losing her mother, her trying to uh, reliving the day over and over again and trying to figure out why, and then how she has to basically piece it back together to figure out what's going on, why is this happening, and then in the second film learning even more and then trying to go a different path to be with her mom again and all that kind of stuff. Just that development of that character was just such an awesome heroine because that really gave her a lot of, you know, kicking power to really become the heroine she ends up becoming and kicking butt in the first film and kicking butt in the second film because she really brought it together in the second film and trying to, you know, really kind of push past it and move towards a new direction. But yet there's this, you know, giant, you know, kind of roadblock thrown at her and I thought that she did a really good job uh, of, you know, presenting of being this great heroine and just what she has to deal with. So that's why she comes in at number six on my 10 best. So coming in at number five on my list of the 10 best heroines of all time is none other than Mila Jovovich herself in such an iconic role that has, you know, spawned, uh, I believe, six films altogether. Supposedly she's hung up her boots to play in this character, the last film, but still this character just kicks butt. And that, of course, is... Alice from the Resident Evil franchise. Dun, dun, dun. Resident Evil. Uh, uh. So yeah, Alice from the Resident Evil film series. She is such an awesome badass character. Uh, Mila brought it to life so beautifully, and really gave Alice a whole 
new persona because you know we really only knew her you know bits and pieces from the video games when they brought them out and this really helped develop who Alice becomes and kind of what she went through and how she grows as each movie progresses and by the last one you're just kind of like wow this woman knows everything and Mila did a great job of bringing that to life and what why that makes her such a great heroine is the fact that with all she's gone through, she's still standing and still fighting the cause. And that's what makes her a great heroine. And that's what also makes her just a really badass, too, at the same time. So that is reason why she's on my list of the top ten, because she's a badass heroine. All right, coming in at number four on my list. Number four, people, is none other than an awesome actress who is so beautifully played by Jamie Lee Curtis and has been in you know a few of the films. She's coming out with two more films in the next two years as the same character who kicked butt back in 1978. And that, of course, is none other than Laurie Strode. Yes, from the Halloween franchise, Laurie Strode. Yeah, you know what makes her so great is the fact that she's just an everyday average, you know, teenager that has to deal with some psycho guy who ends up actually being her relative, which what makes her so awesome. And at the same time, it's like Laurie just keeps getting back up and fighting the, you know, fine fight. And even you know, with the gap between Halloween two and then you know, being into Halloween that they came out with in 2017, or 2018, sorry. Uh, basically, like, just how she's, like, all these years kept up on trying to, you know, Michael's going to be back, and Michael's going to be back. And just how she progressed that character within that 40-year gap and really showed what could happen and how a person could change the way they do. And she just brought it to life, Jamie. And she just gave this character such a great, amazing persona and made her such a great heroine because she just keeps fighting and she just really kicks butt and, you know, just really shows how strong the will to live can be. And that's what's so great about Laurie Strode's character, too. And that's why she's on my top ten list. So coming to number three on my list, number three, people, number three is none other than an awesome, awesome DC comic character who just finally got kind of her lead role in a film this year and, you know, is such an awesome character that was so beautifully brought to life in Suicide Squad and is so amazingly played by Margot Robbie. And that, of course, you have guessed it, the Joker. No, no, no. I'm talking about Harley Quinn. Hey, Mr. J. Oh, yeah, such a great character absolutely love Harley Quinn. I mean, even though she's only been around for 30 years so far, you know, she was designed and made in the early 90s, and it's funny to think that she's only been around that long, but she's such an amazing character. And just how Margot's brought her to life and shown us in the films, she is just an amazing heroine. And I call her heroine because really, if you think about it, even though she's bad, at the same time, she kind of becomes an anti-hero in Birds of Prey and becomes a heroine type where she's trying to save the day, save the, you know, uh, you know, Gotham City and stuff like that and try to help out this little girl. And she just becomes that heroine type. And from what, all, everything that she's gone through and how crazy she is is also another great reason why she's such an amazing heroine because she uses that to her abilities and helps her to kick butt. And that's why she's my number three on my list of top ten heroines. So we're down to the final two. So who's going to be two in one, people? Hmm, who could it be? So let's start with two. So coming in at number two is the badass woman of all badasses, I feel. She... Almost made my number one, but because there's one other person that I think is is just a tad bit more, uh, she made only number two. But this woman has been kicking butt since 1984 uh, against cyborgs from the future and stuff like that. She came back just recently to reprise a role. She's amazing, the amazing Linda Hamilton. And that, of course, you have figured it out. That is Miss Sarah Connor. Oh, yeah. So Sarah Connor, such an amazing, awesome, just macho, badass woman who kicks butt that has saved the future, basically, and keeps having to save the future. And basically, you get to see how she, where she's become, you know, how she's developed in the newest Terminator film. And it's just so awesome that she came back to play the role again, Linda Hamilton, even though we didn't get to see her in any of the other films. It was still nice to finally see her again as Sarah Connor because she still kicks butt and still looks badass. And what makes her great, too, is because she's an everyday woman, just kind of like Laurie Strode, she 
starts out as this like little innocent, you know, young woman that becomes virtually the Earth's and the future's savior. And she just kicks butt and proves, you know, John John really isn't the one that saves the world. It's Sarah. And that she's the number one badass and that she is the heroine and hero of, you know, the Terminator franchise and Terminator timeline. And she just kicks butt and keeps taking names and just you can see in Terminator 2 how much she does that and how much she kicks butt. And that's why she's my number two on my ten best of all time heroines. So we have reached our climax and we've come on to our number one heroine of all time. Can you guess who it is? Take a guess. I'm listening. Hmm. Nah, maybe? I don't know. Huh? Eh, maybe. I, I'm not sure. But I will tell you. And you guessed it. She is a badass character that ha was introduced in 2010 in Iron Man 2. And she has been in pretty much every single, almost every Marvel incarnation uh, to date. She is an amazing character. So beautifully you know, made and brought to life with a Scarlett Johansson and is just such an awesome, you know, operative, cooperative, uh, just amazing character who just really is the key to the whole Avengers success, I feel. And that, of course, is Miss Black Widow. Oh, yeah. So Black Widow is my number one character, and let me tell you why. So she is number one. So the fact that she really brought together everyone in the MCU, really. Her character has kept S.H.I.E.L.D. going. She has kept Nicholas Fury going. She's helped, you know, so many countless Avengers, you know, kick butt and, you know, keep showing how awesome they are as MCU heroes. And Scarlet has brought to life that character so beautifully with all the intricacies that have, you know, brought her backstory to the forefront and how she you know, went from who she was to how, who she is now. And then, you know, it, when the Black Widow movie comes out, we're going to see who exactly even more of her backstory. So, I mean, this character is just so amazing. The fighting that she does in the film is amazing. She kicks butt. Her dialogue, her, her whole persona is on point, perfect heroinism. And so that's why she's my number one of all time best heroines. Uh, ten best heroines. So that's it for this video, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Also, thank you for subscribing. And if it's your first time here, definitely check out the Awesome Horror Pack, people, which is a great subscription service where you get horror films right to your door every month for a great low price. So that's something interesting. Check out that link down below. And also, don't forget about my awesome Patreon, people. Cool, exclusive stuff just for my patrons. The extra bloopers and goofs and all that kind of cool stuff. So check that out down below, too. And as always, people, catch you in the next one.